Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be an all signs reading. You guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your love and support. Thank you. Our channel is growing. I love y'all so much. Happy birthday to all the Leos. I'm a Leo, so Leo gang gang, let's turn up for our birthday. My birthday is August 8th, so it's coming. Um, you guys, I'm open for personal readings. You can book a personal reading with me or get in touch with me via email or text. You can follow me on my social media. Check out all of the other readings, okay? Um, I have also done your August predictions as well. Um, you can keep up with the most recent readings that I've done by checking the description box. I'll put that in the description box. Information on how to contact will me contact me will be in the description box. I'm sorry, y'all know I get tongue tied. Um, what else? My social media will be in the description box. I go live on TikTok um, more often as well. So usually I'll um, put the link to my TikTok live in the community post. And I'll probably be going live on TikTok probably a little later today. But other than that, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, this is going to be for those in separation. We will see how this person feels about you. All right. And what may be stopping them from communicating or telling you how they feel. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender. Any and all negativity. No weapon that's going against me shall prosper. Protect me. Protect my viewers. Protect the messages. I shame. I shame. Okay, you guys. All right. We're going from Leo to Cancer. Y'all know it's Leo's birthday. Leo goes first. Okay. <laughs> Leo. But Leo in separation with that person. Now, this could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. Um, if it don't resonate, don't take it, okay? Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, all of that. All right. The person that Leo is in separation from, how do they feel about Leo? They said, we will be together again possessive <laughs> they said i know i crossed the line with you yeah i know i crossed the line with you and i wish i could take back my words they know they crossed the line they can't take i don't know what they said but they can't take that shit back they can't take that shit back they wishing they could i wish i could take back my words what's stopping this person from coming uh forward could be an aquarius the five of cups jumped out. They're sad. They're too busy in their own emotions right now. What's that? What's stopping this person from coming forward? The four of wands. What's stopping this person from coming forward? Ooh, we have the ten of cups. Is this person already in a connection? Are they already in something else? What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Leo how they feel? They're already in a commitment. Ten of Pentacles. They're already in something, Leo. Now, they could already be in something or this is what they're wanting to do in the future. T these are two tens. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is somebody already in a commitment, already has commitments and responsibilities somewhere else. The King of Pentacles has commitments and responsibilities somewhere else. With the Four of Wands, they could already be in a connection or a relationship. But they want to be with you, Judgment. We will be together again. I don't know what type of shit this is, but moving on. I see Scorpio, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, Virgo. What's this person's current feelings towards Virgo? Um, the person that Virgo is in separation with, in separation from. All right, how do they feel? We need to let each other go. They said, I am not available. They're not available, Virgo. They said we need to let each other go. They're trying to let you go. It could be an Aries. Okay. They could have responsibilities somewhere else. Okay. Are you dealing with the Leo? 
Okay, what's stopping this person from coming forward? The King of Pentacles. Check out the Leo reading. You could be a uh, Leo, Virgo, Cuss. What's stopping this person from coming forward? Or what's stopping this person from telling Virgo how they feel? They're trying to get over this heartbreak and move on, Virgo. And it could be another person. Also, they're mad at you. They're mad. They're not... They... I don't think this person sees themselves forgiving you anytime soon or vice versa. They're not available. King of Swords. They're not, they're just not available emotionally. They're not available financially. They possibly have other things going on in their life. The King of Pentacles is focused on building themselves, already established. I don't see that this person has another person, but I do see them working on themselves and trying to close this cycle. They're heartbroken. They're not available, and they're trying to release this and let this go, Virgo. The person that Libra is in separation from, tell me about the person Libra is in separation from. How does this person feel about Libra? What, is, what are their current feelings for Libra? Remember, y'all, these are just current feelings. Things could change in the next day, in the next hour, in the next week, in the next month. What's this person's feelings towards Libra? They said they remember every detail of that day and they want to tell you how they feel. Okay, maybe you said something. Maybe they said something. Maybe something went, went down. Okay, they're remembering it, but they never got to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you how they feel. Okay, they could have fire in their chart. What's stopping this person from coming forward with Libra or telling Libra how they feel? They're coming forward. They are holding back though. So what could be stopping them? Could be a Leo or maybe, are they gonna reach out during Leo season? No, I don't see them reaching out during Leo season, but I do see that they are reaching out. What's stopping this person from reaching out or telling Libra how they feel? They're just too slow to damn move. They're too slow to move. And they're also afraid that you don't have anything nice to say, Libra. <laughs> Libra is probably like, yeah, as soon as I hear from them or as soon as we talk, they get cussed out. Libra. It's like, look, they do want to talk to you, but they're worried that it's going to lead into an argument. They want to heal. It could be an Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, or another air sign, or an earth sign, or a water sign. They do want to reconcile with you. I see them coming back. They, I see them coming back to you, talking to you, clearing the air with you. I don't know if it'll be in August. This could be fresh. Okay, this this could be fresh and they probably going to take some time. Okay. They do want to tell you how they feel. They're going to tell you their feelings. All right. If it, I don't see it being August, probably closer to the end of August. Moving on to Scorpio. The person that Scorpio is in separation with how do they feel about Scorpio? What are their feelings towards Scorpio? They're waiting for a sign from you. They said we will be together again. Leo got this. So you can be done with the Leo or have Leo in your chart. Okay. They're waiting for a sign from you because they, they know that y'all will be together again. That's what they said. Yeah, they want this happiness. I hear they may want to be with their family again. They want their family back. Or you feel like family to them, this is what they want to be a family with you. All right, what's stopping this person from coming forward? What's stopping this person from telling Scorpio how they feel? They're a little selfish right now and guarded. Two nines, very independent type energy, all about self. They are working on self. They possibly are. Um, they're, I'm not going to lie. I feel like if they have been in a rough spot for a majority of their life. Yeah, here's Leo right here. If they've been a, in a rough spot majority of their life or if they just took an L, they're building themselves up for a win and they wanna enjoy this win. They wanna enjoy some singlehood before they come back to you. They are a little guarded and I feel like they, they know that. They know that they're guarded. They're not gonna come towards you because of that. They know that y'all will be together again, but I feel like this person is trying to find internal happiness first. They are. They are trying to find internal happiness first. And that may 
I don't feel like this is selfish, to be honest. Because if they don't love themselves, how can they love you? How can they receive love from you? Okay. So what's stopping them from coming forward is they need to fully love themselves first. They need to completely, fully love themselves first. And that's the only thing. And I don't see that that's bad. Yeah, I do see reconciliation. I see Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, and Aries, Leo, Sag. They're just waiting on a sign from you. Okay. I see Aquarius as well. Moving on to Sagittarius. The person that Sagittarius is, is disconnected from and separation with. How do they feel about Sagittarius? What's this person's current feelings? They don't react when people mention you. And they're starting to understand y'all connection. So they're not reacting. So I feel like they're becoming numb to it. They're just not... Like when people mention you or when people say your name, I, I feel like they feel helpless or hopeless. I don't react when people mention you. People must mention you a lot. <laughs> they must mention you a lot. All right. What's stopping this person from coming forward to Sagittarius? What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Sagittarius how they feel? work a lot of work and responsibility okay there's a secret or something that you don't know about could be a person a job or um a child okay that's giving them a run for their money okay they have a lot of baggage what's stopping them from coming forward is they have too much baggage they they need to release it before they come towards you clarify the high priestess the Empress, another, there's a, a Libra, another woman, or a baby mother, or a child that's stopping this. I don't react when people mention you. I'm starting to understand our connection. So you could be their baby mom. I see the Chariot, I see the Ace of Wands, and I see more Pisces. There's a Pisces or a Libra stopping this. I do see movement forward. There's some type of responsibility, y'all. There, there's some type of baggage or responsibility that's stopping them from uh, coming forward or telling you how they feel, okay? That's what I see. Could be a person, job, um, or child. Some type of responsibility or responsibility to their family, okay? I see Libra, Pisces, fire, and earth. They probably are starting to understand y'all connection. This person is probably giving them a run for their money, take, taking all their money, especially if they do have children and they're paying child support. Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, tell me about this person that Capricorn is in separation from. This person that Capricorn is disconnected from. Okay, how does this person feel about Capricorn? I wish I could share my good news with you. So this person has good news and they're wishing they could share it with you and they feel you leaving them behind. So this person knows that you don't, you probably don't care or you're starting to not care and you're leaving them behind. Yep, three of wands. You are leaving them in the dust. All right, what's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Capricorn how they feel? All right, what's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Capricorn how they feel? Justice, they got some legal things going on or maybe there's a Libra. Yeah, there's something you don't know about, something they're keeping secret. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, good news, maybe they won a court case. Maybe something has went in their favor in regard to a court case, a settlement, the law, something like that. Who is this, Capricorn? Okay. A business deal. What's stopping them from coming forward or telling Capricorn how they feel? Nine of Wands, the Empress, more Libra. So maybe they're getting divorced. 
I wish I could share my good news with you. Something has went well for them. That's allowed things to be balanced and has allowed things to grow and expand. But with the Nine of Wands, it's made them very, very um, moody, irritable, scared, closed off, and just unsatisfied. I feel you leaving me behind. So maybe you've been waiting on this person to disconnect from their baby mom or wife. And it's just taking too long. There's something in regard to some, some legalities. And it's just taking them too long. I do see better days ahead for this person, but they're, they've been too stuck. Okay? Maybe, I don't know what this good news is. They have good news they want to share with you. Possibly they have been stuck in whatever situation this is. And you're just tired of it. And you have left them behind. They can feel it. People do that. I don't know why, but people do that. get together knowing that they stuff ain't final, finalized yet all right i see leo gemini libra double libra fire and water okay okay moving on to aquarius tell me about um aquarius this person the person that aquarius is disconnected from in separation with what's this person's current feelings for Aquarius I wish I could share my good news with you so they got good news they want to share with you as well it was my fault but I blamed you and I don't react when people mention you it was their fault. They blame you. And they don't want to seem like the bad guy. So they're not reacting anymore. They're not saying anything. They're just going to let the chips fall where they are. They don't react when people mention you. But they know it was their fault. It could have been third party. This person could have just went out of their way to just do fuck ass shit. People literally do that. Could be an Aries. Someone with Aries in their chart. You going out of your way to just do it. Hurtful, hateful stuff. Oh, this is over. This is done. I see the tower and the death card. Okay. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Aquarius how they feel? The three of pentacles. I feel like they see you having a good time, having fun, because I saw the six of wands. Um, this person might be a little jealous of you. Seven of Wands, you block them as well. They don't have enough to give. They just don't have enough to give. Excuse me. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. They're sl too slow to move. They don't have enough to give either. There's something in my damn nose. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's hair in my nose. I'm trying to like... Get the hair. Oh, forget it. All right. What's stopping this person from coming forward? Clarify the three of pentacles. Not a, clarify the three of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Okay. I feel like this person can't choose whether they want to work with you or just be independent. I feel like this person does not get along well with other people when it comes to collaborating and working with people and when it comes to joint finances. So say y'all were in a relationship and y'all were supposed to live together or um, share some type of share the rent or something like that. This person is just not good for it. Okay. I see a lot of earth. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I see fire as well. It was their fault, but they blamed you. And they don't react when people mention you. So you're still getting mentioned. Could be a Virgo. Okay. Just not good. They're just not a good person. Mm -mm. These are the cards that jumped out. We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and the Seven of Cups. A karmic. Uh, this is karmic. Something that's just been going on too long and just very confusing. And look, the Seven of Swords is at the bottom. Mm -mm. Nope. So, 
Could have been seven years, seven months, seven weeks, something like that. Forget that. Moving on to Pisces. All right. Tell me about Pisces. The person that Pisces is in disconnect with or disconnected from. Pisces and separation. Okay. Tell me this person that Pisces is separated from. Tell me this person's feelings for Pisces. They regret lying to you. They want to be more than friends. So maybe they were like, yeah, we can do the friends with benefits thing. And they like, I can't do the friends with benefits thing. I need more than that. Or they regret lying to you because they tried to friends with benefits you. You cut that mess off. Now they want to be more than friends. Make up your mind. Could be a Sagittarius. Okay, I see the Eight of Wands and I see the Chariot. This person is going to try to um, travel towards you to see you. I feel like this person is too, this person is too entitled. I get a in very entitled energy. This person is too entitled to your time and energy. Why does this person think they can just pop up on you? They're going to pop up and get their feelings hurt. So I get somebody is trying to pop up on you. All right, what's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Pisces how they feel? The King of Swords, they got an attitude problem and they don't know how to talk to people. Okay, could be an air sign. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Pisces how they feel? Seven of Cups. Five of Wands. There's multiple people in here. Two of Pentacles. They can't make up their mind and they ask backwards. So I don't know if you have somebody else or they have somebody else. Yeah, I regret lying to you. Maybe they were in a connection. And their connection ain't going too well anyway with the death card. That ain't your fault. No, they can't. It could be dealing with the Virgo or an Aries. No, they can't come towards you because their situation ain't working. The reason they can't come towards you is because things are not working in their connection and they have to focus on their connection. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius. This is an F boy or an F girl. I see fire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries. But we're on Aries now, moving on to Aries. This person is toxic. Okay. All right. Tell me about Aries. The person that Aries is in separation with, disconnected from. All right. Aries in separation. Tell me this person's current feelings for Aries, please. The person that Aries is disconnected from. I wonder if you're happy without me. They hide behind material things. So this person is shallow. They probably have low self-esteem. What makes them feel good about themselves is buying themselves a fancy car or a watch or money materialism. They hide behind material things. And they're wondering if you're happy without them. So maybe they tried um, using money or something to woo you or whatever. I don't know. You probably are happy without them. They're shallow. All right. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Aries how they feel? Very stressed. They're very stressed. They could have some mental health um things going on the eight of cups they feel like they have no choice but to walk away but they're stalking you so what's stopping them from coming forward is they have some obsession with just watching you from afar and wondering if you're happy without them why do i get some type of vindictive energy aries is this person vindictive eight of wands communication or travel they might try to spend money on you What's stopping this person from coming forward to telling Aries how they feel? Sorry. Eight of, I'm sorry, seven of cups. 
they're confused. They're trying to make some type of decision. I feel like that the reason why they're not coming forward is because they're trying to figure out, well, if you didn't like my money or if you didn't like this, what will you like? What is it that stopped you from liking me? You don't like my jewelry. You don't like my status. You don't like this. You don't like that. What is it that you like? So I feel like what's stopping this person from coming forward is they need to look internally. They need to, and they're stressed about it. Yeah, you bruised their ego. So I saw water, air, fire. Yeah, water, air, fire. Could be dealing with the cancer. Okay, Aries, we are done. Moving on to Taurus. <clears throat> All right, tell me about this person Taurus is separated from. Taurus and separation. Tell me about the person that Taurus is separated with. Tell me their feelings for Taurus. Tell me their current feelings for Taurus. They said they can't stop thinking about you because so many things are reminding them of you. So they're reminded of you every day. Almost haunted. <laughs> they're being haunted. <laughs> what you do? Okay. Uh, Taurus. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Taurus how they feel? They're being tormented and haunted, like I said. Watch the Aries reading. So many things remind them of you. All I do is think of you day and night. That's all I do. I can't get you out of my mind. They can't stop thinking about the sex either. All I do is think of you. So you would make this person laugh. You would make this person smile. They be checking their phone, wondering if you message them. I hear they want to take you out. They want to do something. Okay, what's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Taurus how they feel? Six of Cups, just memories from the past. They feel like you don't want them no more. You don't love them anymore. I changed my... Here they come. They coming. I don't love you no more. So what's stopping them is they're stuck in their head. Just remembering the past. So many things is reminding them of you. They're being haunted all the time. Thinking of you. So many things remind them of you. And I do feel like they, they're eventually going to break. They're going to break. They're going to snap. They're going to contact you and reach out to you because they can't stop thinking about you. Could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. This person is obsessed. I see water. Could be a water sign, fire sign, or air sign. All right. All I do is think of you. Moving on to Gemini. All right. Tell me about Gemini. What's this person's current feelings for Gemini? The person that Gemini is disconnected from and separation with. All right. What's this person's current feelings? I hid who I really am from you, but I feel you even though we are apart. So this person hid who they really were. They were lying. They were a liar. Okay. They do want a new start with you, but they feel like you won't accept. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Gemini how they feel? What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Gemini how they feel? Ten of Pentacles. They could have some type of responsibility or family already. All right. What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Gemini how they feel? Two of Swords. They're confused. They're ignoring something as well. They're just deciding not to make a move. The Eight of Wands. There may be blockages. The Eight of Wands usually does symbolize communication or travel. But in this type of energy, so I'm wondering if they blocked you or you blocked them. Did somebody change their number? Okay. Strength. Yeah, holding back. Could be a Leo. 
What's stopping them from reaching out or moving forward could be a Leo. They probably won't be reaching out during Leo season. They're being patient because we have the two of swords. They're ignoring or blocking. There's a stalemate. All right. So possibly block messages. So, yeah. They could have some, uh, probably, you're probably experiencing a change in your financial life. Excuse me. They're experiencing a change in their financial life. I see Leo, Sagittarius, could be dealing with the fire sign, air sign, or earth sign. All right. Last but not least, my wonderful, beautiful Cancer. All right. The person that Cancer is in separation with, separated from, disconnected with, not talking to. Tell me this person's current feelings for Cancer. They said they can't stop thinking about you either. And they are grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this person learned something. They can't stop thinking about you. They're grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, they're sitting there contemplating, thinking. <clears throat> What's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Cancer how they feel? A lot of baggage, a lot of burden that they're trying to leave. So what's stopping them from coming forward is they're trying to, they're learning the spiritual lesson and now they're trying to work on themselves, I feel. All right, what's stopping this person from coming forward or telling Cancer how they feel? Two of Wands, they are at a crossroads. They have something new in their life. They have to choose or go in a different direction. Queen of Swords, they're cutting things out of their life, things that are unbalanced. So I hear things that don't make sense. So there are just some things that just did not make sense. High Priestess, yeah, trying to use their intuition, make sense out of it. Okay, so possibly, so what I'm seeing was stopping them from coming forward is, yeah, you changed them spiritually. There's been a, you, a spiritual lesson that you taught them. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Their whole life, their whole spirituality, the way they perceive things, the way that they believe is changing. And so that's what's stopping them. So they're realizing like maybe the way that they've been going about doing things, they can't do it no more. What's stopping them from coming forward is, in layman's terms, dark night of the soul. That's what it is, okay? I see Pisces could be done with an air sign or a fire sign. Okay, you guys. I'm done with the all signs portion. I'm doing the singles and I'll be done. All right, message for the singles. Okay, message for the singles. Can you give me a message for the singles, please? We have temple path and journey. So you guys are going on a completely different journey, temple path. So I see like, I don't know what type of shift this is, y'all, but there's been a spiritual like ascension, elevation. I hear spirited away. Y'all are packing y'all bags, going on a spiritual journey, a retreat. So yeah, y'all, during this time, it, it will behoove you to not be in a relationship because what you're doing is all about self. It's at the bottom. Archangel Michael getting rooted and getting grounded. It's best that you be single for right now because y'all are elevating into the highest version of yourselves. Okay, we got the number 35 breaks down to an eight, the number two, and the number 12 breaks down to a three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see. So journey, it represents movement, relocation, or travel. Okay, and then we have the temple path that represents spiritual purpose and support. So you have you have support and you're following your spiritual purpose on this new journey or this travel. And Archangel Michael is here to assist you and help you. Stability and security, exactly. So this is what's going on for you singles, getting a lot more stable, traveling, um, you're on a 
a path, a, a new journey. All right, towards victory. And I'll leave you with this. I love y'all. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You can leave me a comment. Leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me. Check the description box below. Timestamps will be in the description box below. I always timestamp them. If it's not in the comments, it's in the description box. Okay? So please check the description box, y'all. Um, other than that, I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Happy Leo season. Um, I'll be uploading some more uh, shorts as well. So y'all check that out. Check the community tab as well. Until I see you again, y'all be safe. And check out all the other readings that I've done. That's going to be below. I love y'all. Bye.